I've been asked by a number of people to demonstrate how I groom my Australian Terrier heads. And this is Lucy. She's in need of some grooming. And I thought I would use her as an example of how I, um, how I groom heads. I, with my show dogs, I keep up with the grooming every week, so I don't use a thinning shears or, or um, blending shears. But in her case, she has so much hair and long hair on her face that I need to get a baseline on her muzzle. So I start out by taking the, my thinning shears and eliminating some of the long and excess hair along her jawline to give it this angle. And then we'll blend it and strip it when we get some of this excess hair off. Good girl. And all this hair around the ears gets removed as well. Again, this is just for thinning out, wait, just wait, um, a muzzle that is really overgrown. If you keep up with it, say maybe stripping even once a month, you can really do it with just the thinning shears, or excuse me, the um, stripping knife, or what I've been using is finger cuts. But we'll use this stripping knife. I like this one for the face, just to get a little of that extra undercoat off as well. Wait, good girl. Wait, wait. a little bit of hair away from her eyes and her ears really this can just be stripped as you can see it's really easy to do and she doesn't really mind it she's saying easy for you to say wait just wait good girl good girl Girl. Wait. And another tool that I use at times is the stripping stone. And that is really does the same thing as a stripping knife with the finger cuts, these um, with removing some of that undercoat especially. Just wait, honey. Good girl. Good girl. Wait. Good girl. Wait. The idea is to really just blend this in. And I know it's going to take me a lot longer than the, the video will allow, so I'm going to just kind of quickly finish here and give you just an idea of. So you just keep doing this until this part is blended nicely with this section. Wait. And as for the top knot, this also is too long. So we can use a thinning shears also to kind of get rid of some of the length so that it will stand up nicely again. Good girl. Okay, so just continue to strip this and blend it, just as I'm showing you here. And if you need to wait, and if you need to, just use the thinning shears to give it an angle or jaw, under the jawline and continue to blend this so it doesn't look like it was just cut. And like I said, if you keep up with it as, as I do with my show dogs, then you don't have to use the thinning shears at all. You would just continue to blend this with your plate sweetie, with your, um, your tools or your fingers. So I hope that's helpful. 
I'll post photos of her before and after so you can see better when we're completely done. But that's sort of the idea.